Hey there, true crime friends. If you know me at all, if you know me at all, you know I am not a sports ball fan, right? I don't, sports ball is not my thing. I don't watch no sports ball. You know what I watch? I watch trial coverage. And it's like the Super Bowl, every couple of weeks, at least once a month, there's a verdict. And we have a verdict in the state of Florida versus Charlie Adelson. Now look, I have not fully had time to collect myself. The verdict just came down. Chuck, baby, you go into prison. You go into prison for a long time. Guilty on all charges. Here's the thing. Jury deliberated for just like three hours. And when he came back in, he had no tie on. He was already shackled. And I was like, oh, they already know. They're like, we're not going to trouble ourselves with all of this. Let's take the shackles off. Let's put the shackles back on. And the judge was like, you can remain seated because I know you get to, I, I, I mean, I mean, um, when the jury comes in, you just please keep sitting right over there. He looked like a skeleton. Charles Adelson aged a hundred years in just this day. He was like, <sighs> blinking real hard. Never in my life have I seen anybody blink so hard. Georgia was just like, yeah, about to convict another one. Here we go. Let's see, what am I gonna have tonight? What kind of celebratory dinner am I on? I'm gonna have tonight where I do not throw up on the table. This is my question. This is what I want to know. Um, I'm gonna need the wiretaps because I know they are still up and very active. I'm gonna need all the wiretaps of what is happening in the Adelson household tonight, in the Wendy Adelson household with Wendy's kids and with um those Adelson parents. Donna girl. You better get yourself together because you are next. Ma'am, that closing argument could have been a closing argument for you and your little trip off to the big house. Mm -mm, it's not going to go good. Now, listen, word on the street is that they are not going to go after um, the Adelson father, Harvey, because he's old. The evidence is not as strong against him. He's in his 80s, whatever, whatever. But Donna, that mama, girl, miss, I'm controlling. I'm better than you. I'm running every single thing. Hmm. Now Tallahassee don't seem that bad. What are they gonna? How are they gonna feel about Leon's prisons for life for the rest of his natural life? And in truth, given um the way this man has talked and behaved, his uh, I, I'm just saying his visit on this mortal coil might not be that long. Um, his lawyer kept talking about Aladdin King. Aladdin King gonna be real, real mad because the Latin kings are family. They are family to one another. And if you disrespect a Latin king, well then they have a pass to punish you. Something tells me Chuck is not going to like his punishment. He's just not. He's just not. So whether it's one Latin king, as his attorney called it, or all the Latin kings, them Latin kings, they going to have words for him. Now listen, he has until December 12th or whatever for them, the court to get all of their everything together, the paperwork and the whatever. And then he gets his official sentence. But we know this what this is. He about to get l -wop. That's right. Life without the possibility of parole. Chuck, my man, you are going down. Now, um, are they going to put him in like the Tyvek suit? Are they going to have Chuck on, on a live watch? Um, have they got brought in like the 50-gallon drum of K.O. Pectate for both Donna and her mama? Because... They tend to have, you know, a little IBS, a little uh, in, in, intestinal upset when things don't go their way. Honey, it is a river of unfortunate events happening on the floor and on the toilet and all over that very fancy apartment. That marble, Donna girl, you better get used to it. Just lay on your floor and rub your marble and caress it gently tonight because your time and the, the luxury palace and the fluffy whatever very very limited very limited and those children they have to live knowing that they were born into the adelson crime family listen if they have half a brain they change their name back to markle and go on up to canada and live a nice peaceful life but you know for the past 13 years 10 years however long it's been the adelsons have talked trash about the markels and now the adelsons it's a bad situation. Wendy about to be over there in a nervous hospital because you know she nervous and anxious anyway. Oh, child. has somebody called the doctor? Is Wendy fully medicated? Because she gonna need a bar of Xanax. She might need a case of Xanax next to her mama with a case of Depends. Who? Somebody get the Desident. Somebody get that bubble. Whatever you use for diaper rash or whatever, honey, Donna's gonna have a lot of it. A lot. I hope 
hope they have a bidet. This is definitely a bidet situation. They're going to need the toilet top bidet. They may need the full separate bidet. They may need the handheld bidet. Somebody going to need a bidet because their whole situation is going to be burning and on fire and un comfortable. Listen, I'm going to stop with the potty humor, but what I'm saying is you see how these chicks get down when things go to the left? It's going to be bad for them. In other news, Katie Cool Lady, happy, happy birthday. She wanted us to go and do random acts of kindness today and put Dan Markel's name out in the world in a positive, in a positive way. Well, listen, Dan Markel's name got put out in a positive way today, and that is with the conviction of Charles, whatever his middle name is, I forget, I used to know it, Adelson. He going down, Donna Adelson, girl, you on deck. Good luck with that. All right, y'all, I will see you in the morning for Rise in True Crime. Until then, don't commit no crime. Have a good night. Bye-bye.